What is up guys, Brett here, and I am super excited to be making this video today because one, this is my first video ever on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're watching. And two, I get to upgrade my gaming PC. So let's do it. But first, let me explain why I'm actually upgrading because this computer right here, it's no slouch. This has an Intel i7-7700K, 16 gigs of DDR4, and an RTX 2080. But since I'll be editing video now, the four cores on the 7700K just aren't gonna cut it. I'm gonna need something with a little more power for the workload I'm gonna be putting this through. So with AMD dominating the desktop market, I really wanted to go with the 3950X, which has 16 cores and 32 threads. So, naturally, I'm going with the Intel Core i9-9900K. What? Let me explain. So, the motherboard I'm using is actually an Asus Strix Z270, and it just so happens that the Asus Strix Z370 is the exact same physical specifications as the Z270. So that means my custom water-cooled loop won't have to be modified at all. I can just drop that motherboard in with the 9900K and just plug and play everything. No new bends required. Plus, I'll be doing a lot of my editing work in Adobe. Everyone knows Intel, QuickSync, Adobe. That's why I'm actually using the 9900K instead of the Ryzen 3950X. So let's go actually put things together now. Let's go. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Water is heavy. So the first thing I actually have to do is drain the loop which means I have to go way down in there where I put the actual drain. So yeah, we're gonna have to dig down in there and reach out and, and do it. All right, let's, ah, ow. All right, so we gotta unscrew the cap that's on the valve. Ah, got it. This guy, oops, hit. This guy. Now we have to screw on this soft piece of tubing so that we can open the valve and let it drain. So, all right, that's on there. And if it's not, we're screwed. So we can see that even though it stopped draining, there's still actually fluid in the blocks. So we're gonna have to tip the computer around a little bit to get everything out. How do I, how do you open this? Oh no. You need like instructions. Oh, <laughs> I'm done. Ah! Lord, that was an adventure. So I went to put the computer down and accidentally cracked a piece of my acrylic. So luckily I have the soft tubing with one fitting already on, and I will just use this other fitting on this side, cut it to length, and replace it right here. That was bad. So due to some technical difficulties, I wasn't able to film as much of the build as I wanted to, but overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. The soft tubing that I had to use to replace the hard line that I cracked actually isn't bothering me as much as I thought it was. 
and if you use your imagination, you can pretend it's a super intricate hardline bend. I did see an issue though when I first tried to boot into Windows. It kept freezing right after the BIOS screen and the fans would ramp up to 100%. So my first thought was, this is a thermal issue, which means I would have to tear apart the entire loop and remount the CPU block, which is something I didn't want to do because it was like 2 a.m. So to test editing performance, I took a one minute 4K video and rendered it on the i7 and then again on the i9. The i7 took a minute and 41 seconds to render down that video in native resolution. The i9 though, took only 53 seconds to do that same file. That's like half the time. With gaming performance, I didn't really expect to see that much of an increase because the 7700K is already a really good gaming processor. It's got eight cores, 16, no it doesn't. It's got four cores, eight threads, and mine was actually able to turbo up to five gigahertz. The 9900K though is an eight core 16 thread beast that really doesn't get utilized that much with current titles. I tested two games, The Witcher 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and both saw roughly a 10% increase in FPS. So that's something, right? But that's fine because I updated this to see a major increase in editing, and that's what I got. So overall, I'm happy with it. It looks cool, it performs well, it only made me cry like four times. If you like this type of stuff and seeing more of the technology side, let us know in the comments. So if this is something you guys wanna watch, I would be happy to make more videos like this. So I hope you guys stick around and I'll see y'all in the next one.